What's going on guys? So as promised, full day of eating video. We are doing it today. I hope you guys enjoyed the little recap of my life uh, that I posted there yesterday. Uh, if you haven't checked it out, just take a look. It's just gonna give you guys some insight on everything that's been going on over the last few months with me. Obviously I've been off YouTube, just been handling life stuff, working a lot. You know, obviously you guys saw everything right up until Vancouver. And then after that, I fell off the map. So if you watch that video, uh, you'll know why. But yeah, so in Burlington now, uh, love and life, training up pure, eating tons of food, back with my old coach that I worked with a couple of years ago, Dorian Hamilton. So he lives here, he owns a gym I train at, so got a really good thing going there. Uh, getting some training in with Antoine Volant. You guys probably know him, another IFBB pro from Canada, uh, Olympian. So you guys will be seeing some training from me and him as well. But today's a rest day for me. I just got some appointments, got some work to do, but I want to show you guys what my current diet looks like. So I'm gonna go make meal one, and when I get it cooked up, I'm gonna show you guys what we're eating. All right, guys, we're firing up breakfast, but I really wanna show you guys everything I do today, supplements included. Um, so we're starting off with two tablespoons of organic lemon juice and also one tablespoon of fish oil. So we'll get this down. I actually just drink this from the bottle because it's a little messy to uh, measure, roughly two tablespoons. <sighs> Very bitter. We'll definitely wake you up in the morning. And you follow up with some tasty fish oil. It's about 15 mils, so now we are gonna fire up the breakfast so show you guys what we're working with here so of course we go organic eggs for the protein source we also have four ounces of chicken breast for the carbs we're gonna do sourdough toast so 200 grams worth roughly four slices and on that we're gonna put some no sugar added jam and last but not least I go to the food cupboard we're gonna to be tossing down a banana. So I'll throw this together and show you guys. Okay guys, meal one going down. So typically my mornings are spent just eating and doing client check-ins. Um, show you guys exactly what I'm talking about. So typical Morgan Mac Nutrition meal plan right there. Yeah, I usually work every day, do about five to 10 client check-ins a day. Sometimes I set up new clients if I have to. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much my life. But anyways, on to the meal. So we have the two eggs with the chicken with a little bit of curry ketchup from my condiment sponsor, Rubico. Check them out at rubico.ca if you're in Canada. Uh, we have the sourdough toast with two different types of jam, strawberry jam on this one. And we have blueberry jam on this one. No sugar added, of course. And you guys might say, oh, you're trying to bulk, you're trying to get big. Uh, well, why aren't you just eating full sugar jam? Because we just don't want to go overboard with that stuff, especially the sugars. Cause a lot of water retention and we get enough of that because right now I'm eating like over 700 grams of carbs a day. So still trying to keep it somewhat clean. That's just a little bit of flavor for the toast to help get it down. And then we have our banana, perfectly ripe. So actually looking forward to this, should be delicious. But yeah, guys, that's the meal. I'll take a bite for you, so. I'm honestly not the biggest fan of the chicken and the eggs in the morning, but just doing what I'm told, it does digest really well and makes me ready for my meal too, uh, like two hours after. And right now it's all about just getting the meals in, staying on time with them for digestion sake. So we get a nice big bite here, a little bit of white, a little bit of yolk, a little bit of chicken. That's pretty good. Jack factory. Um, so typically what I'll do is, I do this for a lot of my meals actually, I'll eat the protein first and then I'll get into the carbs as dessert. So I'm gonna finish this one off. I gotta do some more check-ins, go to a Botox appointment. <laughs> you know, gotta stay pretty. Um, then I think I might stop by the DMV, see if I can get my car registered. I finally have all the paperwork for that. Moving is a pain guys. <laughs> Moving cities is a pain for sure. And I also have to get my health care, so I'm gonna try to knock out all that today. Uh, hopefully we get it done. But regardless, we're gonna keep filming these meals for you guys. So stay tuned for meal two. Okay guys, back from running errands, very successful. Got the Botox, got my vehicle registration done, got my health care for Ontario. So all that stuff is finally out of the way, which is something I've been working on for like two weeks, getting all the documents. So uh, yeah, pressure's off there. You can just focus on bodybuilding, work and life now, which feels pretty damn good. 
If you guys have ever moved to cities, you probably know what I'm talking about. But anyways, back to the point of this video. So we're on to meal number two. And I know I told you guys I was gonna show you my supplements today, but I realized I take a lot of supplements. So I think that's gonna be its own video. Just walk you guys through that, what I take meal by meal. Um, so we'll just stick to the food for today. So meal number two, we have seven ounces of chicken breast right here, with, again, with some Rubico barbecue sauce on it, low calorie barbecue sauce. 400 grams of rice and 15 mils of olive oil for a fat source. So you guys will notice like with my diet, everything is like fast digesting, fast digesting carbs, fast digesting protein, easy digesting food. I'm already at 5,600 5, calories to start my off season. So super important for me to just turn over every meal super fast. So I'm ready for the next one because right now it's like six considerable meals a day, considerably sized meals a day, I meant to say. I'm on training days, which is not today. I use, I'll eat a blueberry muffin as well and drink carb powder during my workout and we're doing two cheat meals a week as well so a lot of calories going down so digestion needs to stay on point so of course i'm gonna take a bite for you guys so i haven't really did much olive oil in my diet um forever just wasn't really a big out of fat guy but dorian has it in my diet i think three times throughout the day, two or three times. Can't really remember right now, but I enjoy it. It's really good on the rice with a little bit of pink salt. So you guys are trying to get extra fats in that digest well. Highly recommend that, easy way to up your calories. And olive oil, as long as you use it in its raw form, so put it on your food after you're done cooking the food. I just pour it on my rice. I add a little bit of salt on top, it's delicious. So I'm gonna get into that. Bon appetit. Damn good. So guys, I'm gonna polish this off. Do some more client work. We'll check him back for meal number three. All right, guys, back for number three. So this is kind of a, another interesting meal from Coach Dorian. We're doing like a protein source with dessert, basically, once again. So we have seven ounces of chicken. Uh, this time we have the teriyaki rubico sauce. I'm going to show you guys the sauces in a bit. I'm sure some of you guys are curious, but they're the best low uh, calorie condiments in the game, for sure. Also, guys, this is like a new favorite of mine. Another one of my sponsors. Um, Ascension Foods, they have this amazing cream of rice, brownie batter flavored. You guys, I'm telling you, this is the shit. So I have a big bowl here, 140 grams. So this is cream of rice, guys. It literally tastes like brownies. I add three Splenda to it, and this meal, Dorian has 50 grams of blueberries and 10 grams of peanut butter as well. So a little bit of tasty chocolate peanut butter action going on. So this um, meal is, uh, again, fast digesting carbs, fast digesting protein, a little bit of fruit in there, some healthy fats as well, just keep the calories up. So yeah, I'm gonna enjoy this one, and then we will be back for meal number four. All right guys, meal number four. So we have the coconut cream pie flavor of the Essential Foods cream of rice. Actually my first time trying this, I'm just running low on my plane, which is what I would normally have. So I decided to mix it up with uh, Jack Factory Vanilla Authentic Isolate. Uh, again, guys, code Big Moa Jack Factory, check it out. So yeah, we have that all mixed up in here. So it's 140 grams of the cream of rice, two scoops of the Jack Factory protein, and we have 25 grams of the natural peanut butter. And we had a little taste test, and it's pretty good, but uh, honorary bite for you guys watching. So we have some nice peanut butter mixed up there with the coconut cream and vanilla compounded effect. Still very hot, but that slaps, guys. So try that out. Good combo. That's my meal number four. We'll see you for meal number five. The handyman adventure. Oh, hey there. <laughs> yeah, you still one of the things I do all the time. Putting things together. Man, shit. Super proud. Oh, <laughs> no, literally, guys, like my first half of both of my life besides like Star Wars and Legos. <laughs> but uh, we're getting there with this shoe rack. So we got a shoe problem over there. I'm not sure if you can see it, but uh, we got a lot of shoes. It's not even a third of them. And they're taking up a lot of floor space. So we're working on this shoe rack today. So anyway. All right, guys, we gotta hit the road. We're going to the airport to pick up our good friend, but gotta take this one with us. So we got meal number five. We have seven ounces of chicken, uh, 350 grams of rice. And this is the olive oil I use. So that's pretty good. If you're doing olive oil, I recommend it. it. Might suck. I'm like new to the olive oil thing, so this could be terrible, but I like it. And I was going to show you guys the Rubico sauce. So this is the teriyaki one that I love. Highly recommend this guy. It's probably like the goat of all low sugar sauces. And one more that I wanted to show you from this morning. Well, I might as well show you both of these. They also have barbecue, another favorite of mine. 
and curry ketchup. So check them out, rubico.ca. Anyways, guys, we'll see you back here for meal number six. Okay, guys, we made it to the last meal of the day. We just got back from the airport, ate meal five on the road. Now we're here for the nightcap, so i am got all this prepared. I'm gonna show you guys and go enjoy it before I go to bed. It's been a long day. But anyway, so what do we have? Protein source. We have two scoops of Jack Factory Authentic Isolate chocolate peanut butter. Blend it up with some ice in our little magic bullet uh, thing that we like to use. Bit of cashew milk, bit of ice. And then for the carbs, we have 135 grams of organic oatmeal. There's 20 grams of raisins in there, 25 grams of peanut butter, and I got a little bit of sugar-free syrup. So uh, yeah, you guys saw the macros for each meal. Total macros are right here for the whole day. Um, hope you guys enjoyed that. Next, hopefully we'll be some training videos at Pure, uh, and then day of life, all that stuff. Let me know in the comments below what you guys want to see, and I'll try to do that. Like and subscribe, help me out, and we'll see you on the next one.